Hey everybody, how's it going today? I am Captain Energy, and today we're talking about the MPC2 software. Just in the past week, Akai released a new plugin called Flexbeat. And there's a little confusion, I think, about what Flexbeat is, how it works, and so I'm here today to explain it to you a little bit. If this is the kind of content that you like, by the way, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel so that I will continue to make more content like this to help people out. I would really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to like the video if this is something that you enjoy. So anyway, here we are in the MPC2 software on my PC. The first thing I want to say is that the Flexbeat plugin is in fact a VST plugin, not an Akai MPC plugin. Even though they kind of classify it on their website as an MPC plugin, I think what they're getting at is that it is for the MPC software on your Mac or PC. This is a little confusing, especially to people who are MPC people who just want to add new things to their MPC. This does not actually, in fact, add anything to your MPC as far as I can tell. It is strictly a PC software or Mac software addition. It also works with any other VST application or host that you're using. So if you're using Cubase or Reason, those are the ones I've tested it with, you can use this plugin in your productions. Now, let's get into it. Take a look here. Now, in order to use this, the first thing you need to do is you need to have some sounds. How do we get sounds? Well, in this software, right now it's set up to be a drum kit. If I wanted to bring in a drum kit here, I could just drag one out over here and drop it in. Boom. And there we go. Now I'm going to change back to A over here because for some reason it jumps to B all the time. Because you can have multiple channels or multiple sets of pads within a drum kit. So if I go back to A, you'll see that the initial 16 sounds are here. All right. And we're going to throw down a quick little beat here. Um, nothing too fantastic because I'm not the world's best drummer. And we'll take it down to one. We'll just do uh, four bars. <laughs> Told you I wasn't a great drummer. Glad I could live up to the hype. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, and we'll get some, uh, and that should be good enough. Let's see what we got for a sound. All right, so now we got a little basic beat there. Now, if I wanted to add uh, some effects to that, I can go down here. This is the question people are asking is, how do I add effects in the software? Uh, you would go down here to see where it says inserts, and there are two types of insert. One is kind of a global insert. So if I add something here, right, this is going to show up on everything. So if I added maybe, say I want to add just a smidge of reverb to everything, okay? And we'll go air reverb boom. And I'm going to take this down. It's not too intense. Smidge of delay, whatever. Let's see how that sounds. That was a little more than I thought it would be. But that's a little bit of delay there, right here. That's without the delay. That was the reverb, rather. And this is with the reverb. Reverb. No reverb. Reverb. No reverb. Okay. Now, if I add another sound in here, say I add a second track, okay, which I'll do right now, just for the sake of proving this works as this way. Um, all right. Let me get a, uh, we'll go with a plug in this time. Yeah, you got a tube synth. I'm going to throw in a bass type sound. And maybe this one. And maybe not. I kind of don't, kind of don't like that sound. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for. Something like that. All right. That's, 
better. Perfect. So now, So now that we've got a couple tracks in here, um, and you can see that this affects everything, this affects, the ones on the left, affect only the instrument they're on. So if I go over here now and say, go to my tube synth and I add a, a phaser, you'll only hear it on the... It's only going on to my bass. I can change that if I want, pull this drop down right here, and go to a different sound if I want to, something a little more obvious, let's see, yeah, maybe this one. And you can hear that on just that. If I put that on both, you'd know it was there for sure. It would wreck the drums. All right. Now, in order to use the new flex beat, what you need to do is you need to have music going on, and then you need to put it on an effects rack, basically in an effects rack. Not, It's not an instrument. It's actually just an effect. So if I go over here, and we'll just, uh, for fun, we're going to put one right here. Where they're hidden is first of all everyone's looking in the uh in the akai there's usually an akai folder here for a lot of people have an akai folder or whatever in their instruments anyway but in here it's just a vst okay and then you go to akai professional it's under here very strange place it feels like and there it is now if i double click it you can see the whole this is what it looks like and now let's give it a listen and we'll pick a Now, in my opinion, this would be the kind of effect you use over a whole track. Um, not over just part of it. But maybe you would use it over part. I mean, just the way it sounds, it sounds like it's just too big of an effect, in my, my opinion, to be just used over a little piece. Pretty cool though, right? Um, now, if I wanted to, as I said, uh, it does not go, I mean, the way it's set up right now is over one, the whole thing. But if I go right here, let's get rid of this reverb, first of all. I'll just drop this down. To get rid of an effect, it's kind of tricky at first, but you just click the little down arrow here and then just hit none. If you're used to any other DAW, like if you used to Cubase or whatever, where you normally just pull it off and drag, drag it off and drop it, that doesn't work. I tried that before, and I, I spent way too much time trying to figure out how this thing worked for that purpose. Um, anyway, so if I go over here, and we go to track one, which is my drum track, right? And we take, since this is flex beat, I'm going to put it on a beat track, right? This is my thought for a second. We'll try this out. And uh, now if I play, it just affects the beat. Don't even ask me how these work. I haven't gotten that far with this thing yet. <laughs> but, uh...
So you can pick any of these 16 pads, or 16 buttons here, and it will do whatever they're supposed to do with that. Create your own. They're editable. So that's how you get this to work. Um, I hope that helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, please hit me up. But that's basically what's up. In order to use this, you need to have created a track. You need to have inserted it as an effect. And then it needs to be being played. Is this what you've been waiting for? I don't know. Uh, I guess you'll let me know in the comments. Have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Take care and be safe. All right. Talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.